It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Oh, look, look at that. Look on the big screen in our room. It's, uh, it's Jeff Osgay with uh, his uh, special feature. Do you have the intro ready, Jeff? I do. Uh, today, I'm mixing it up, though, Tommy. Uh-oh. I'm, uh, I've been doing this almost a year. And uh, I write a lot of jokes. I don't always do them, though, because I chicken out. Or they... So today, I'm doing all the jokes I didn't do, and <laughs> you guys get to vote on whether you like it. If you like it, you're going to hear a... Uh, Yay! And if you don't like it, we're going to get a... Uh, Oh, we're gonna give it a nay. So, uh, <laughs> let's see how the, let's see how this works. I'm Jeff Oske. We give you a lot of news. We don't give you all the news, so I'm here to give you the news. We failed to mention. Now here's Jeff Oske with what you failed to mention. News. Pew, 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 pew. Canopy Growth, one of Canada's largest weed producers, has just bought its competitor for a record three hundred and twenty-three million dollars. Wow. What you failed to mention, they paid for the entire. Three hundred and twenty-three million, all in wrinkled tens and twenties. <laughs> We're gonna go a nay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. This is fun, right? <laughs> no. Nope. All right. Uh, this past week, Elon Musk opened his big dumb nerd mouth again and <laughs> sunk my cryptocurrency fortune that I had amassed. What you failed to mention, maybe I shouldn't have invested all my money in an asset that only takes one nerd opening his big, dumb nerd mouth to crash its entire value. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, take okay. that as a... Yay! Yeah! <laughs> okay. A 90-year-old Japanese woman who has worked for the same company since 1956 earned a Guinness World Record as the world's oldest office manager. What you failed to mention, while waiting for her position to open, her 17 successors at the company have all died of natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, sure. That's a, okay. uh, that Good gets one. nothing. Okay. A doctor in India named Miss Pragya... The car, I think I pronounced that correctly, has urged the drinking of cow urine to ward off COVID. Oh. What you failed to mention, the name Pragya the car roughly translates in English to the woman no man dares to kiss on the mouth. It's <laughs> <laughs> all that pee she's been drinking. <laughs> Jeff. Uh, Jeff. <laughs> That's a nay. There's a new theme park opening in Saudi Arabia, everybody. What you failed to mention, they're still trying to decide if they're going to allow women on the bumper cars. <laughs> I mean, they'll be naturals with their no previous driving experience. <laughs> True enough. <laughs> they held a tiny penis parade last week. What you failed to mention, surprisingly, it happened to coincide with the Unsatisfied Woman's March. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Isn't every woman's march an unsatisfied march? Hey. Oh, sorry. All the hats are unfinished. <laughs> a truck containing 80,000 condoms was stolen. What you failed to mention, what a bunch of scumbags. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's, that's my favorite euphemism for a condom. And the rest of them... Never heard that. <laughs> Red Bull athlete Dario Costa has set the Guinness World Record for the longest tunnel flown through with an airplane. Mm. What you failed to mention, the throwing of a hot dog down a hallway record <laughs> is still held by Tom Arnold and Roseanne Barr. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Very good. Ah, getting absolutely from check. That's I'll take right. it. Yeah. Class clowns may be the... Smartest students in the class, what you failed to mention, unfortunately, we'll never know because you keep kicking us out of class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. Yeah. All right. So far, I have made all the right choices of not doing these jokes previously. A man caught driving drunk tried blaming it on his four year old son in the car. What you failed to mention, you never blame a four-year-old for your drunk driving. Now you blame him for ruining your life, but not your DUI. <laughs> <laughs> the first Thanksgiving took place in year 1621 in Plymouth, Massachusetts, when the colonist and uh, some tribe I can't pronounce shared an autumn harvest feast. What you failed to mention, the first Friendsgiving took place at a New York City loft apartment <laughs> in 1998 when six friends shared a feast of takeout after deciding not to return home for the holiday. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> that gets a double neck. <laughs> There's a new mattress for gamers out there. What you failed to mention, it comes in three sizes, single, always single, and forever single. <laughs> That's a great one. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. Finally. Oh, yeah. A little gold in this pile of crap. Someone <laughs> spotted three calves in the back seat of a woman's car in the McDonald's drive through in Wisconsin. What you failed to mention, she was just showing them what would happen if they didn't behave. <laughs> oh. 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 A little word of warning. A kid got stabbed in the toe at a haunted house by an actual buoy knife. What you failed to mention, with Horror House admittance being 40 bucks a person, I better get stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> <Nope. laughs> That's a day. Magic mushrooms may be a good prescription medication for treating depression. Hmm. What you failed to mention, of course, are great for treating depression. I've used them for this exact purpose. It's really hard to be depressed while karaoke in the Humpty Dance with your good friends Rainbow Unicorn and Papa Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take that one. <laughs> Some people somewhere held a tiny penis parade. What you failed to mention, last year they tried the same thing for premature ejaculation. The parade only lasted about a half a block before coming to an abrupt end. <laughs> a person was arrested for assaulting their spouse with a plate of spaghetti. What you failed to mention, I know it said spaghetti in the story, but that's really more spaghetti-o behavior if you ask me. <laughs> I'll take that. And finally, because of a dr bus driver shortage in some towns, they now have members of the National Guard driving school buses. Hmm. Well, you failed to mention running late for the bus will now cost a child 30 push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've been Jeff Aske, and you guys have been nice enough to play along on my new game, Yay! Yay! Or... <laughs> and this has been the news. Failed to mention news. Jeff Aske. Oh, thank Jeff. you very much. I remember that story about the uh, urine. I remember all those stories. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um, but I, what I'd forgotten was it was a member of parliament in India. Oh, yeah. Said she drinks cow urine every day to ward off Let's coronavirus. Let's do a follow-up on her. Yummy. See how she's doing. Yeah. I'll stink breath still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, I, although it's my understanding she does, she only, she will not drink the grass-fed cow piss. Oh. Uh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. She's, she has standards. She just drinks the almond-based okay. cow, cow, <laughs> cow, almond cow urine. <laughs> I was already gifted a, a present for my birthday from our uh, our friend Ronald McDuffin, who oh, really? uh, tortures us with his many, many <laughs> online... Yeah, uh, a friend is a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> He's an artist. He's a good man. He is yes. an artist. He sent me... Are, Tom, he, are you familiar with those uh, Funko Pops? No. They're these yeah, little figurines. They have big heads. They come in squares. Sam got Finley one for Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Don't you have a kiss one over there? Those do not do. Oh, okay. They have them for all. Uh, Jason has a all kinds of, of them. Movies, yeah. uh, athletes, right? Oh, rock here, stars. Here, this is a fun co. Of yes, Iron it's Giant. a fun co of Iron Giant. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Ronald made a Josh Arnold Funko <laughs> Pop. Oh my God! <laughs> based on this picture here. Holy <laughs> hell! Wow. Oh my gosh. With a uh, an Omaha Steaks burger, and and uh, my gosh. If it isn't me with an Ar a chef's hat that says Arnold's on it, <laughs> serving up a hot dog. Wow. I, I, I'm sorry, a hamburger. How, do you, cool. how did he sculpt that? No, I think you order it online, Tom. Doesn't yeah, you? but he must have made the box or something. Yeah, I have no he idea. definitely made the box, and uh, it looks like that's an, somebody, another... Funko Pop. Oh, that he just added. Yeah, look, it's, so it's from the yeah. show Harney Days. <laughs> oh, you remember Josh? He was the neighbor on Harney Days. It's beautiful. <laughs> Is that one of one? Um, it doesn't say, but I don't know. That thing. I he mean, had to have made that. It's is beautiful. Amazing. That's got to be Incredible. one of the most valuable things in this building. By oh, I'm very uh, very pleased with that. Wow, great. I got you nothing. Well, that's okay. When's your no, birthday? Monday. Oh shoot! Okay. No, yeah. you guys are fine. Don't you don't have to worry about it. We anything. don't have time to make but a fun. I just pop. wanted to thank uh, McDuffin for this. Are you going to leave it in the box? Can I, see it? You know, I am going to leave it. in the It's box. worth more in the box. Uh, mint in boxes. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, okay, it. very nice. I wanted to mention that uh, Mr. Godwin, 
uh, winner of the International uh, Song Competition. Once again, congratulations, Pat. That's and great. Pat's new album is out. <laughs> Today. Yeah. Today. A new, another the new live one. album, yeah. right? Oh. Captured live, yeah. Captured live. Pat Godwell, where do they find that? Worldwide, everywhere. Digital stores, streaming services, it's all, it's all out there. Now. All right. And then we should play a song here, Pat, I think in honor Maybe of we should play the winner. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. Song? Would that How make too that? much sense? Well, we could do that. <laughs> um, Pat will be live and in person at Lebowski's in Washington, Iowa, coming up Saturday night. You're going to be in Pizza Ranch Country. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Pizza Ranch? Is that oh, big there? Oh, yeah. Is that a, a place that's pizza like a ranch, ranch where you get pizza? Or is Wait a minute. Pizza? Wait a minute. Pizza? Wait a minute. Everybody shut up. Let's Sorry. hear them out. This sounds amazing. You know what I love about Pizza Ranch? It's that you go in, and it's a, it's a kind of a pizza. You order pizza, of course. It's a pizzeria. <laughs> They've got pizza there, chick. Go ahead, Tom. Go ahead. We're got this. Of course. I'm riveted, yes. And fried chicken on the buffet. Oh. So, on a buffet. Yes. The hell? Yep, it's good. Do they give you, is it served with ranch? Is it's ranch so part of it? You can get your ranch, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Got it. All right. Giddy up to pizza ranch. I'm just saying, while you're waiting for your pizza to come to the table, a fried chicken buffet, yes, please. Is it all kinds of fried chicken or just legs or something? Can you get breasts and thighs? All kinds. And, oh. Filled up fast, though. The whole I, I, I got the theme song for it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> I'm Josh Arnold for Pizza Ranch. <laughs> I'm Josh Arnold, says Tom. Can you put Josh for Josh Arnold? <laughs> Your voice sounds different. Are you ready to rush yeah, up? We uh, got a couple specials. Uh, people think that's a mule. That, that you, people think that's a mule. That, that ain't no mule. What is it? It's an ass. It's our special <laughs> called Pizza Ass. <laughs> oh, okay. here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> You're a yeah. child. <laughs> You're an eleven-year-old boy. Now, Pat, you want? Are you going to play your winning song? And oh, I mean, you guys have heard this before, but I'd be glad to, to pull it out. Hey, Pat, please, Pat, yes. Pat, we've heard them all before. Yeah, okay. I was say. Pat, I love it when you pull. This it out. is an award winner. We love this. Yeah. I am a true man of the world. <laughs> I stand here with my flag unfurled. I'm a gorgeous melting pot of humanity, but one physical flaw is such a blow to my vanity. I have a cute English nose, like the Swedes I'm the leanest, I have huge Austrian pecs, but a Greek statue penis, <laughs> I'm hung like ancient art, that's what came between us, you like my Roman hands. But not my Greek statue penis. I'm no Norse god, neither grower nor shore. I have a pint sized package like the javelin thrower. Go ahead, take a peek at my tiny little Greek music. I have a strong Irish liver. Oh, and a Japanese like genius. A big American gut. But a Greek statue penis, salty Brazilian nuts, <laughs> and a Greek statue penis. I have a Greek physique. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Right. Winner of the 2021 International Songwriting Competition. More than 21,000 entries Whoa. from 150 countries. Wow. Wow. Um, that uh, number one. That one was the winner. Huh? Yeah, it's a penis song. <laughs> a bit of a dick joke, but uh, it's a You know one. I love it, I know. You love it. I heard uh, your John Wayne in there. That was nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you have the best I always like the Roman hands joke that I think is uh, under underappreciated. No, it's appreciated. You. It's just one award. Okay, <laughs> oh. let's not get... Caught up. I like hung like ancient art. It's kind of subtle and fun. It's all very smart. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I want to have a nice statue made for you. Oh, you know they should. They should based, uh, based on that song. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, I won't need a lot of clay apparently. <laughs> I, <just laughs> I would have gone with discus thrower, not javelin thrower, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. The javelin is a certain phallic. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. But point. there's no famous javelin thrower statue, only a discus. Pat will be live and in person at Lebowski's in Washington, Iowa, coming up Saturday night. And once again, uh, Josh has asked you to take one of those uh, special boxes so you can bring him back. Bring us all back. Uh, pizza a ranch. A little right? bit of pizza ranch. That Please, that. yeah. Mm-hmm. Pizza Ranch, okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and what do they have? They have a buffet with what pizza and All chicken fried wings? chicken and uh, breadsticks. <laughs> you understand? How about there. the? Uh, how, what's the dessert look like? Do you remember that? I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, do they have like the cinnamon pizza that places do? If I remember correctly, they do, and they have uh, soft serve. Okay. If I remember correctly, do they have okay. a nice salad bar? 
Little. You can get your greens. <laughs> oh, yeah, the... Do they have anything without so much flavor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like flavor. I like varieties of I kale. Oh, excuse me. Once again, I'm Josh Arnold. Welcome to Pizza Ranch. <laughs> Why are you Josh Arnold? Got a brand here. Yeah, Josh, right here. <laughs> oh, Josh, do, do the announcement. Go ahead. I, say, I, I hop out of a like I come out from a tub of ranch dressing. <laughs> Josh Arnold, yeah. I've got some lasso and a pizza. <laughs> An animated pizza running down the range. <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> when you need to rustle up some grub, head on over to Pizza Ranch. We got the horse, horse radish pizza. Thanks and, of what? course, the donkey pizza. We call it pizza ass. <laughs> if you want a pizza ass, come by. <laughs> you can have a piece or the whole thing. That's pizza ass. Isn't it funny how this, this, all these westerns have this kind of epic? Same sure. Music, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When the, rea- the reality was, well, it's been six months since I've heard a banjo. All I hear is that GD whistling. <laughs> well, what? my wife's got a cough. I guess she's dead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a convenience store in Arizona was forced to close temporarily due to a large swarm of bees. Oh, no. According to the Golder Ranch Fire Department, one person was stung multiple times during the swarm at the Speedway gas station on North Oracle Road. The convenience was good. <laughs> <laughs> fire officials set out of an abundance of caution. The gas station now closed to the public to keep it the, These days, that's not the only thing that stings at the gas pump. Boy, ain't you that know right. what I mean, Josh? <laughs> uh, it's high. The prices you Gasoline see Gasoline costs Hello. a lot. Hello. <laughs> a swarm of bees. Didn't well, they open for blind melon at the <laughs> hey, Chick. Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Diesel. Diesel who? Diesel sting you, these bees. <laughs> <laughs> Gas try, try, try doing it as, as the brothers. Hey, uh, hey there, Dicky. Yeah, Dick. Knock, knock. Who's there? Diesel. Diesel who? Diesel sting you, these bees. <laughs> <laughs> we- <laughs> That's funny. That almost worked. Well, that almost worked. My brother can tell a joke, can he? I tell uh, you. Uh, well. yep. uh, Christy Lee at the news. Anything else? Over Residents there? of a New Zealand town have identified the uh, actors responsible for a late night break in. According to news.com AU, the front window of a store in Wanhunga actors. was shattered. Shadoob-doob. Following a mysterious a attack in the middle of the Wahunga, night. Wahunga go by? Wahunga? I'm not letting it go by. I'm Spell just... it for me. One, W-Z-R. I can't spell. O-N-E-H-U-N-G-A. That's one Wahunga. Hunga. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I saw them all in the shower. That one guy. <laughs> one Hunga. The rest are in the parade with Jeff. <laughs> so Diesel Bees doesn't work for you, but one Hunga. That that's good. I, I, I want to get a I want to get a sweatshirt. The window of the store in One Hunga was shattered following a mysterious attack in the middle of the night. Security footage shows. The culprits turned out to be two escaped sheep. It's not very mysterious, then, if there's footage of it. One of the sheep appears to fight <laughs> its own reflection in the storefront window, with the animal repeatedly ramming its head into the glass till it breaks on the third attempt. Funny. After the glass shatters... Shadoobs. The sheep then flee the scene. It was not clear if the wayward sheep have been apprehended. Can't hold their liquor. That's what they say. Sheep? Sheep can't hold their liquor. Oh, we got another one. Sure Sheriff's can. deputy in Indiana lassoed a loose sheep. This happened in Scott County. Why was it on the lamb? Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, boo. Boo. Sheriff's office in deputy Skyler Thompson had been dispatched to I-65 after a sheep had been spotted on the roadway. The deputy soon located what he recognized as a sheep trying to hitchhike well, I mean, on the interstate. I mean, I'm sure those guys are very fine police officers. Uh-huh. Yeah, great think, detective you, you don't get a, you don't get a, well, we, That's we, good work, we're here boys. to present the citations for recognizing a sheep, Captain. Come on over. What the hell? There's a giraffe. Oh, no, wait, that's a sheep. You know, it's illegal to hitchhike in Indiana, so Tom.
Thompson, with his reputation as a top-notch lasso cowboy, put his skills to use and soon apprehended the errant sheep and removed it from the road. It was transported to a local farm where it remained until its owner was identified. Mutton to see here. <laughs> Good cop, bad cop. It didn't get in trouble for being on the highway. It didn't get a D-U-I. <laughs> I mean, we're killing it. E-W-E. <laughs> e -E. yeah. So this guy was able to, he had a lasso with him? Apparently. That's pretty cool. I think it's lasso. lasso. It's not so a lasso. He, so he, you, he la you lasso the animal with a lasso. With a lasso. No, you lasso the animal. You don't lasso. The lasso is not a part of this. Well, you guys are a bunch of major lassos. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's lasso. Chick, chick sets his on fire. Yeah. He's he, a flaming what, lasso. What, what crawled up his lasso? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you people? <laughs> Just buy some shoes and be quiet. A 400 pound pig oh, on the loose in downtown Tucson, Arizona was safely captured. Oh, that's a big hog. With the help of a construction worker on a tractor. The Pima Animal Care Control Center said construction workers used a tractor to follow and corral the pig near a bus stop. Responding police officers were able to use their patrol vehicles to better corner the animal. The pig's owner soon arrived, and with everyone's help, they were able to load up the 400-pound sow. Her oh, name, by the way, is Rosalia. Use a pork lift. Of course you would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got a loose pig out there on the ham. Yeah. You know what? you got to make sure you get something. I can't, I can't <laughs> explain it. I can't. I don't know why, but pork lift, hilarious. <laughs> I don't, I don't. After I don't they did it, it, you know, after they did it, you know what they did? No, what they do? <laughs> they all went to a barbecue place because, you know, they just finished pulling pork. And they... <laughs> pulling pork? Huh? I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get that at all. You don't get pulled pork yeah, at a barbecue? You want to get the, don't you get the pulled pork at the bar? Maybe it's just me. Sorry. <clears throat> well, you can't have them playing with yourself. Eh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> forklift. You should have stayed there. Yeah. Several neighborhoods. Would you have accepted row? knife and forklift? Apparently no, not. No, My God. God. <laughs> no, not at all. That I got biscuits wow. to eat. See ya. Woo. <laughs> you got the pork chop there, Josh. Woo. <laughs> Several neighborhoods in Rome now have a nightly curfew following a spate of wild boar attacks. According to the Guardian, residents of six um I don't. It's in an Italian city, imposed an 8:30 p.m. curfew as an act of self-protection, since they did not believe officials are doing enough to take effective measures. I see. Against the animals, <laughs> so they're all afraid of these. Wild yeah, they're bars. advising people oh, not to nasty. go out after 8:30 sure. p.m. because at night, if somebody falls over and is hurt, nobody's around to help, and the oh. boars will attack you. Yikes! They'll eat anything. And of course, in Italy, they could probably turn it into delicious boar ragu if they'd catch oh, one. Oh yeah, sure. God yes. They can make anything taste delicious. Bear bolognese, be, that'd be pretty tasty, no? Uh, there is a wild boar be uh, bolognese. You're kidding me. No, I don't. I'm not kidding. Really, you've had this. So uh, I know we you have friends that do everything. You have a friend that makes bear bolognese. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> after after those. Not bear bolognese. After those uh, boar. After you those, know how you... Uh, those chuckers, what are those called again? Polo chuckers? <laughs> You're shipping boar bolognese out, uh, you know, by the uh, truckload. I'll look that up. They're, oh, they're yeah. loaded with a uh, pork lid. I made. I honestly made wild boar like two months ago. <laughs> I <laughs> really think they do make a boar. It boar. was wild not for boar. me. Here. It, was, really? it was ground how did you wild get, boar. Where did you get wild boar? Grocery store down the road. I'll show it to you. Is that right? Yep, uh -huh. Really? Son of boars yeah. are us, yeah. Wow. Yeah, boars, boars are up. Did you get it um, early in the evening? <laughs> uh, I don't I don't remember when I bought it. Why? Why? Yes. Why? <laughs> you usually don't eyeball the pigs until last call. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> you're loving it. You're laughing over there. You're making that squeaky bike noise that happens. You know, that like squeaky he, bike noise. I love that. He, it's like he said pork lift again. I don't get it. There right, it now, is. Time now for things we learned today Ooh. on the Bob and Tom Show. Happy birthday, Darius Rucker. Hootie. Darius Rucker, the mother. Oh. Uh, the Pizza Ranch in Illinois has pizza. Iowa, you dumb dumb. <laughs> you dumb dumb. <laughs> they have pizza and chicken on their buffet. Are you crazy? Uh, jogger was terrorized by Chrissy and her dogs this morning at 4. Poor jogging guy. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, a... sir, if you're listening. Josh says he can eat 25 small donuts and 50 donut holes. That's right. That's what he said. I won't feel good, Prove but it. I can do it. Prove what do you it. think, Tom? Prove it. Prove it. Ace uh. with a prove it. Uh, the Pizza Ranch has a salad bar. 
Yeah. And, and uh, dessert. And cheese and soup and oh, all kinds oh, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at this uh, with Jeff Oskey's joke about uh, was it about the, the truck full of rubbers. Mm -hmm. Did Jeff do jokes today? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going to come back on. Oh, he'll laugh. No, he had, he had the, he had, remember the, 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 truck, the truck full of condoms? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Todd, that's what Dear Bob and Tom show. Isn't that where the rubbers meet the road? <laughs> <laughs> you you see how it's done, Jeff? Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 boy, today's edit. Oh. <laughs> today's edit will be very painful. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com. Hey, man, this is Donnie Baker. If you just like that video, then do your part. Like and subscribe. You have to. It's state law.